Greetings, most noble viewers. It is I, and with a power move. That's right. I'm no professional power mover, nor am I any good at it. But uh, I am here to show you a power move this time, and possibly your first power move. It was my first power move, but if you are a complete beginner and you are watching my series of tutorials as a complete beginner, then it's possible that this will be your first power move. It's not the windmill. It's not the backspin. I consider those ones even harder than the power move I'm going to show you today. Well, tonight. Tonight, I'm going to show you the hand glide. Going, it's shifting into this arm over here. 
Then you can remove this hand, this arm, place it on your back or anywhere else. And if you're going fast, you'll notice that you're actually still spinning. Or maybe you fell. Because it's pretty hard balancing like this. But since you're spinning, it, the, the laws of physics, you know, it should compensate. It's easier to do it when you're spinning than doing it without spinning, okay? So, you can remove this arm once you're spinning fast enough. And of course, rapidity comes from pushing and practice. And you'll probably fall when you remove this arm. However, if you keep practicing and balancing, because the balancing without one arm is very much different, you're more because uh, before you could have this to balance yourself, now you got to kind of go a little bit more to the left. Shift your weight a little bit more to the left, and then you'll be spinning. And that's really all there is to it, little friends. That's the hand glide. Once you learn it, you'll be opening your doors to the float. Well, floats are a specific category of power moves, including like crickets, no? But anyways, learn this, and if you have any problems, I'm here to help. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more. Peace.